What is going on everybody? Today we are taking a look at a Tucson knife. This is the TS33. This is a earlier model. Uh, their numbers all run from low to high. The higher the number, the uh, more newer the knife is. This is a front flipper. I'm not very good at front flippers, as you can tell. Um, great action on it. Um, pretty drop shotty once you get past the detent there. Um, like I said, not very good at the front flipper. This tab kind of interferes with your hand a little bit. You can see where where that tab starts to travel and I tend to have my hand there and it's very tricky to not catch your hand as you can tell. The whole travel of that, you know, it takes some certainly getting used to as far as getting your finger out of the way because you can see how I have my finger there as you're trying to front flip it. It's coming around and hitting your finger. So these knives are a little tricky. The detent on this thing is strong too. Um, if you even so slightly touch the lock bar, this thing will not open. I mean, like it, it is sensitive and it's got a good strong detent. You're not gonna flip this thing out. It's not gonna open really easy. It takes a good amount. I mean, I'm putting pressure on it right there and. Yeah, once it gets past that detent though, it really does want to snap, as you can tell. I mean, but yeah, it's got a really strong detent. If you're putting any pressure, this is a narrow knife for me. I, you know, so like I said, you gotta be really careful about where your fingers are when you're trying to front flip it. And like I said, that, you know, the detent is pretty strong. But other than that, well made the you know i love the machining that they've done into this handle you can really see the texture and you feel it too it feels great in the hand nice milled pocket clip the milling is right along with the handle so you you know from you know it's hard to tell if it's even there it's engraved in there it's set in a little bit nice back spacer on that little bit of jimping doesn't really necessarily do much. It's very, very subtle jimping. Very nice, aggressive Tonto. This is a, let's see if we can get this on camera. It is a night morning design, which is a American designer, M390. Uh, Tucson has definitely done a lot better in I would say the past year or so at least they their quality and workmanship is gone through the roof so that has ramped up a lot of the prices you buy these on a lot of these on eBay and through I forget the OD win 99 he's the best person to buy these through you're guaranteed to get the right knife at the right time you know, of production, you're not buying some really older design that the M390 doesn't come up to spec. A lot of guys have tested these knives to make sure that they're up to spec. And they are. They very much are these days. A lot of guys are commenting about how good the quality right now is with them. Now, that does ramp up the price. You know, you're in a bidding war on eBay, so... Quick little comparison. There's the Benchmade. There it is with the Benchmade Griptilian. And there it is with the new PM2 satin version. So you can kind of get a pretty good idea on just the size of the knife as far as the overall width of the knife. Let's get some quick little measurements here. Looking at probably right around, you know, it's about a three and a half inch blade. Cutting edge is about three, three quarter, uh, three and a quarter inches, I would say. Overall length, about an eight and a half inches in overall length. Let's 
quick little weight aspect. Let's see what we're at here. Not a bad weight, under four, just under four ounces. So that's pretty good compared to, you know, Griptilian. It's a tad bit lighter, but it's not all titanium and see, I mean, so really it's coming in, that's 385. So it's actually coming in lighter than the PM2. For some reason that seems pretty interesting considering, like I said, this is all titanium design. Here's your lockup, pretty good lockup. I mean, there is no play anywhere in this knife. I mean, it is 100% secure. Great design, great tanto on this knife. Very sharp edge, great, great edge on this knife. It is sharp, point is sharp. Here's your Tucson logo. Yeah, the milling on this is just fabulous. It really is. It feels good in the hand. You don't, I, even though I don't really care for narrow knives when they get like this, especially when you're trying to, on a front flipper, you're trying to get a hold of it and flip it and get your fingers out of the way at the same time. It's a bit of a challenge for me. It takes a lot of getting used to, and obviously I carry a lot of different knives all the time. I'm, you know, that's kind of part of the channel. It definitely has a little bow in it, as you, you probably can't see there. Got that little bit of an Asian bow to it. So, so a lot like you would see for like a samurai sword, you know, how it kind of has that nice swept angle to it. So when you're holding it and you're cutting with it, it's, it's already got, it's almost like having a belly with it. And it does have a slight, sl ever so slight belly to the edge. So it does have some, does have a little bit of roll, a little hard to pick on the camera, but it does have a belly to it. So the whole knife actually does have Nice angle, swepping, sweeping angle to it. So, yeah, very nice knife. Uh, like I said, even though I'm not much of a front flipper, uh, I like the idea of it. It just, I just, just don't get enough time with it. It's on ceramic bearings. Like I said, that perfect, perfect action. Nice and drop shutty. Well, not super drop shutty, but I mean, that's getting into it really slow. But yeah, overall, really nice knife. Uh, I paid, I think $110, 100, $105. Just, oh, it just went just under, just over $100 for me, shipped to the house. Um, so not too bad, you know, considering it's M390. They've been, you know, and it's very, very nice. Got your lock bar stabilizer, insert, kind of hard to pick it up, but you can see it in there. See the screws in there for it. So yeah, pretty nice knife all overall. If you like front flippers, you know, this is certainly a good front flipper. This knife used to go for about, I think it was about 75 bucks. A lot of guys were getting them for 75 bucks. So it, it but right now the, the, you know, the bidding war gets on some of these knives. It's come down. I, I originally, when I first started about five months ago, was trying to get this knife and it was 150 bucks. I mean, guys were bidding like crazy. Um, I got lucky and it expired in the middle of the night and I just happened to be up and so I was able to sneak out and get it a little bit cheaper. But, yep, that's the Tucson TS33 and M390 full titanium. Make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe, you know, because we always have a lot more content coming, you know, whether it's from Chinese knives, Japanese knives, or American knives. We're always going to have a lot of different variations of knife companies that we will be looking at. So make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.